Colleagues, isn't it great to be here tonight? And isn't it great to be a member of this fantastic party? The Labour Party. The party I was born into. Stuffing envelopes for John Ryan in Nina in North Tipperary, wanting to make the world a better place. Playing my part. Few conferences have given me the encouragement and motivation that this one has. And that's down to each, each and every one of you. There is a palpable energy in this room tonight. It is an energy that this country needs. An energy of a people that is proud of its politics and its political party. Proud to say that we are the oldest party in this state. Proud that we have always stood for social justice and equality. Proud of our achievements and proud of our members. Proud also of our leader. Proud that it doesn't matter in our party when you join us, whether it was last week or last century, you are treated equally as a member that shares a common set of beliefs and values. There is a fundamental decency about the Labour Party and its members, colleagues, that we should all cherish. It is this very decency and honesty that has ensured that you have never seen a Labour Party representative being investigated by a tribunal in this country. <laughs> and it is this very decency and honesty that is bringing new members in their droves to our great party. We, the Labour Party, are the party that can satisfy the hunger that the Irish people have for hope and leadership. Colleagues, I have been on the campaign trail in Munster for the European elections for the last six months. The one word that comes up again and again and again on the doorsteps and in the shopping centres is a word called leadership. Then, colleagues, they mentioned two words to me. Eamon Gilmore. <laughs> At our last conference, many of you carry signs proclaiming Gilmore for Taoiseach. Those signs, which we see him again here tonight, in their hundreds, brought a wry smile from many. Since then, though, those smiles have given way to nods of recognition that the Labour Party is being led by the most outstanding politician in this country. Someone Someone who leads with passion, someone who leads with conviction, someone who inspires us all. With Eamon Gilmore as our leader, we are not wondering who we will join in government after the next general election. Rather, the question on everyone's lips is, who will join us in government? In in extraordinary times, extraordinary people come to the fore. Eamon Gilmore is a man that knows Ireland. From the small farmers of East Galway to the workers in Cork, the fishermen in Donegal and the citizens of the capital. He has lived amongst them, fought for them, and now he is ready to lead them. Colleagues, join me in welcoming the leader of the Labour Party, Eamon Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> 